What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is another episode of Nerf Combos. Instead of covering a blaster in this episode, we're gonna do a flashback episode. Yeah, get the effect ready with the white overlay, like, oh, back in the day, cliche TV effects were the win. Flashback encompassing all of my personal combos from previous Nerf Combos episodes. Oh yeah, let's get ready for the highlight reel. Keep in mind, this is painted. That's not what it's supposed to look like. Um, but it is a worker stock, an 18 round stick mag, a retaliator foregrip, and a Spectre extension. Nice proportions, nice grip, very uh, practical magazines. And it looks pretty sweet as well. This is a modulus barrel attachment, a modulus sight, a worker stock, and an 18 round straight mag. The barrel extension and the sight don't aid in performance, but they look cool. And the 18 round stick mag is very practical. And it definitely looks pretty cool, even with the mismatched front end. Up front is a barrel extension for the Modulus. It's an expansion pack for the Modulus. Down here is an orange vertical grip, a clear 18 round straight mag, and a clear shot scope. The attachments don't help with performance, but they look pretty cool and allow you to feel a little bit more tactical while nerfing. Starting out with my personal combo. Nope, I'd rather run barehanded than use that piece of crap. I don't have a personal combo for the deploy. No thank you. Starting with my personal combo, if I have to run a retaliator, I would run this. Shh, they won't notice. It does two count. I can get into any retaliator war. Yes, this is a strife. Flywheel master race. I'm not going to run a retaliator. Starting with my personal combo. Wait. No. What year is it? Why would I run a Stampede when there's a better option out there? My personal combo for the Stampede is to just swap it out for a Rapid Strike. It's better in every way. But with the rev up time, and what if it's really cold, and what if it's wet, and it's raining, and yeah, 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 yeah. No. Rapid Strike clearly superior to the Stampede. Deal with it. So that is my personal combo for the Stampede. Spectre barrel extension, clear shot scope, 18 round straight mag, and a homemade flashlight that is super strong. I outfit most of my blasters the same if you haven't noticed the pattern, but I don't like too much clutter, but I do like a little bit of tactical, and this side rail is just optimal for a flashlight. And super bright when you just need to blind a zombie. Or screw up your camera's light settings, whatevs. <laughs> my personal combo, how I would personally nerf with a raven. And yes, I would actually use this because flywheel master race. Aw, yeah. Modulus expansion pack muzzle thing. Unique serialized camo modulus scope that the Hasbro PR team sent me. Pretty cool. 15 round worker banana mag that's not actually made by Nerf. It's a China ripoff. Banana style because it's reminiscent of the stock demolisher magazine, which is pretty cool. Homemade LED flashlight over here that attaches to the in strike rail on the side. Tactical, cool. Along with a worker white stock uh, because the blue doesn't match. But nothing matches the demolisher because it's all orange. Um, so yeah, white's close enough. That's my personal combo. Just the right combo of practical and tactical. <laughs> Starting with my personal combo. This is how I would run a Nerf Triad because this is the only way I know how to run a Nerf Triad. As a little backup shot, you know, you put it in a pocket, you have three shots, pretty small. Um, it's definitely effective for that role uh, without attachments. Up front, a Spectre barrel because I think it looks sweet. A modulus barrel extension in order to hold my flashlight because there are no other side rails on the long shot. Up top, the custom modulus scope that the Hasbro PR team sent me with a custom camo. Pretty tactical. And then down below, two clear 18 round stick mags. Of course, ammo might help to, to put inside of them, but you know, minor details, but whatever. That is the personal combo, how I would personally run a nerf long shot in a nerf war. Up front is the Spectre barrel extension because it looks tactical as f over here, a homemade tack light, which I have a tutorial on, because this rail is just screaming for a torch, and I think it looks sweet, and it's super tactical. <laughs> Up top, original modulus sight, the stockade stock, because I think it looks cool, and it's nice and comfy. And since I have to go off color for the front, I might as well go off color on the back, because my stuff doesn't match the white. And a 12-round magazine. I typically run 18-round stick mags, but of course, this blaster doesn't accept them, so 12 rounds will have to work. So this is my personal combo for the Recon Mark II. Just the right combo of practical and tactical. Tactical, probably a little heavier on the tactical, but I can't help that. My tactical level is over 9,000. You just, you just can't contain it sometimes. That is the personal combo. Now with my personal combo. I'd rather go empty handed than use that thing. Sorry guys, I actually nerf. No, I will not use a breech loading non-magazine fed blaster. Pfft. Even as a backup pistol, who wants to breech load? That's super slow and Difficult to holster? No thank you, sir. I will have many other blasters instead. Unless there is some way to make it like an effective backup, like a melee toy or something. 
Well, okay, fine. If it can magically turn into that, then cool, I could use that. If I was in a really melee mood, I suppose I could use that as a glorified melee handle, so then you can just safely do that. Yeah, so I suppose um, that is my personal combo. I know I surprised you with the 18 round stick mag. I've never done that in a personal combo before. Um, I like these mags, yeah. Modulus optic because, you know, it's, it's cool, I suppose. And the blue worker stock because it matches the blue. I have nothing against the orange shell of the Elite Alpha Trooper, but none of my stocks match. And of course this is my personal combo and I don't want to use that. I'd rather use a blue one. So that is my personal combo. Pretty basic, but that's how I would wreck a bunch of Zambies. <laughs> Starting out with my personal combo. Yeah, this is how I would run a Nerf Rhino Fire because I wouldn't run a Nerf Rhino Fire. As I mentioned in my Rhino Fire review, I don't really think it's super helpful to have two separate magazines loading unless you can use them at separate times. The Rhino Fire does not allow you to fire out of the left while you're reloading the right. When you take out one magazine, the whole thing shuts down. For less money, you could buy two rapid strikes, dual wield, and then shoot them independently. Reload this one while you're still being able to gun people down. That's how I would run a Nerf Rhino Fire. Coop, that's not a Rhino Fire, so that's not how you'd run a Rhino Fire. That's not a Rhino doesn't make any sense. Nah. It's my series. I can make up the rules and change them whenever I'd like, so deal with it. I mean, come on. Everybody wants to feel like Rambo every once in a while. I kept the mega front attachment because it doesn't hinder the performance of the primary blaster. It's not that heavy, and I think it's pretty cool to occasionally use a mega dart. Red dot up top because, um, tactical points. I don't really use it to aim, but it looks sweet. Down below, the 22 round banana magazine. Clear because I think it looks super cool, and I like to look through things. I mean, all deck capacity and, you know, length is all that matters. Got that gentle curve up in there. <laughs> and in the back, a worker stock because, again, tactics. It's nice and stable. I like it. Whatever. I do like the missile attachment. It comes with a tri-strike, but I, I really wouldn't use it that often and I wouldn't want to carry extra missiles on my body. One shot really isn't worth all that bulk. Although, with the bulkiness, this, this magazine is pretty big. Whatever. Um, this is how I personally run a tri-strike, regardless. Starting out with my personal combo. Yeah, this is how I would run a Spectre. Yes, this is a Nerf strong arm. Not a Spectre, but that's how I would run a Spectre. Because I wouldn't use this. Even the Elite Spectre. Why would I want a five shot blaster if I could have six for the same size? If I wanted five, I could use the hammer shot and have a nice one-handed operation. If I'm gonna put on a barrel and a stock, I'm definitely gonna have magazines because I'm not gonna keep reloading by hand like five darts, super slow, not tactical. But cute, that's not even a Spectre. That can't be a personal combo of the Spectre because it's not a Spectre. Yeah, uh, whatever, my, my series, I change the rules whenever I want. That's my Spectre. Following tradition, starting out with my personal combo. Yeah, nope, I'm not gonna run a Battle Scout. This blaster is total crap in every regard. I don't need it for the camera because all my cameras are better than that camera. I don't need it for the blaster because I could throw darts better than it can launch darts. So nope, won't use it. So yeah, personal combos. I mean, pew, 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 tch, 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 I could shoot these, right? <laughs> Up at the front, a barrel strike. This is a barrel slash front blaster that can hold four modulus or elite darts, and then it's spring powered uh, primed down here. I typically don't like barrel extensions and, and weird nonsense on the front, but the proportions of the regulator are a little odd, so I don't really like putting my hand just kind of in front of the magazine here. The barrel strike gives me a nice vertical grip up in the front, so it's a confirming place for my left hand just to kind of be. Just chill out, left hand. Just hang out or hang out over there. I need another hand for the demo. <laughs> And being real, uh, tactics, because it looks sweet. <laughs> but moving back, the 22 round worker banana mag in clear, because I like painting stuff clear. Just kidding, it came that way. But 22 round capacity with a nice gentle curve. All that capacity dough. Up top, a red dot, because it's just the perfect balance between practical and tactical. It looks cool, but it doesn't completely obstruct vision when I'm trying to actually aim. I don't even keep the batteries in my optics because it's a little bit lighter and it's less likely to fall off that way. And that little red dot's, you know, it's tactical, but not really worth the extra weight for me, because ounces make kilos, bro. Gotta make it lightweight. Gotta go fast. Then in the back, we have a worker stock. I forget what they call it, but it's the Lightning Storm ripoff stock. It's one of the longer stocks in white, so it matches and, um, you know, really solid. I just like the fixed, you know, firmness. Nice and stiff and, and stable. Pretty simple. I try to balance between practical and tactical, and that's how I would do it for the Nerf Regulator, my personal combo. Looking through my video archive to assemble this video, it was interesting to see my progression of camera gear and sort of my personality change. The very first combos video I made was on the Nerf Modulus, and that was a response to one comment that said something to the effect of, hey Coop, I think it'd be really cool if I could see the Nerf Modulus with a bunch of different attachments because I don't know which ones to buy. We can imagine the combos in our heads or even do a Microsoft Paint collage or something, but it's cool to see the combos in person, and that's what initiated this whole series. So 
thanks for that comment, bro. On that note, if you have any suggestions for cool series you'd like to see in the future, leave a comment in the section below. That's this episode of Nerf Combos, personal combo highlight reel. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.